Well, my mother died in 1950. She was 27 years old. We were placed in Dalmar Children's Home. I was five years old. So on one hand, it's good to have pictures, but on the other hand, it just stirs up so much emotion. When we were put into Dalmar, I was not allowed any contact with my baby brother, Leith, which was the beginning of a lot of pain and anxiety for me as a child. I was very young when I came to the home. It would be some years after I came to the home that I got to, to meet my sister, Pamela. This is baby home. Huh? Baby's home, darling. Baby's home. He was whisked away put in baby's home, and that's where he stayed. I used to beg them, please, can I go? And they'd say, no, because your brother's there, and it's not, it won't be good for him if he were to see you. I just believed that it could have been done a different way, uh, in a more compassionate way, that they should have allowed other siblings to be able to come and see the younger ones and spend time with them just like a normal parent. If you couldn't have your parents, at least if you had your sisters and your brothers, you had an opportunity to do some bonding. I think the worst thing for me at Dalmo, honestly, was watching my sister, her getting into trouble for sneaking into baby's home to be with our little brother, Lethe, and to see her after she'd been beaten and locked away under the stairs. Other kids would say, oh, Yvonne Vernon's copping it again. Even today, just walking past it, it's horrible. I think a lot of, a lot of forgotten Australians have issues with um, alcohol abuse and drug abuse. They're filling a void. It's a huge empty hole. Food appeases the pain, it fills the hole. It comforted me. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bobby. Up, up. No matter what, you know, life is life. We have to meet life on life's terms and uh, there'll be ups and downs and I'm going to have happiness, I'm going to have sadness, I'm going to have disappointment, I'm going to be grieving, I'm going to be mourning, I'm going to be all of those emotions. But the fact is, I'm content with whatever comes. My mother that's in here knew me as a babe and loved me as that perfect child. And um, I love to come and spend time with her here. Yeah. We make up for what we missed. Isn't that beautiful, the bells ringing for my mum. <laughs> <laughs>